Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So we've got some fabrication to do today, which should hopefully be a nice job. So we need to make a frame for this to bolt onto. So this is usually bolted onto your front of your tractor, and then you sit your wafer weights on, on there, however many you want. Trouble is when it's like that, you've got to, when you want to take them off, you've got to handball them all off. So what a customer wants is a frame making to bolt this onto, so then he can pick it up with his three point linkage on the front of his tractor. So I've got this design so far. I'll show you a bit more detail on this and then we'll, we'll get it cut out. So this is what I've got designed. The, them four bolt holes there are where the, that block is gonna bolt onto. And then here's your three point linkage. I haven't got all these plates. Well, there's one missing there, another one at the other side missing. I don't need them on for what I'm doing here. And um, what I've been working out this morning is how to do sheet metal, how to use a sheet metal tool. So it's technically a fair while to work it out, but I've got it worked out now. So this piece here, I can cut it out all in one. So that's what it looked like as a flat piece with all the holes and the squares for the box section to go through. And then I can, when I cut it out, I can mark where my press marks need to be with my engraving head. And then it also tells me what angles I need to press them at. And obviously this is box section frame, this is 80 by 80 by 6 box section and all this lot is 15 mil. There's braces there to go from that plate onto the box section. So I'm hoping that should be plenty strong enough. So all them plates I've got nested ready to cut out and I'm going to cut them out of this leftover bit of 15 mil. We'll get the plasma fired up and then we'll get them cut out.
So we've got these cut out. They look smaller now. I've got them cut out in real life than what they did on the computer, but should be all right. So this is ready to press now. But I was just looking, we can see there, for some reason, that line there is further away from the holes than what that one is. Same with that one there and that one there. So whether the engraver has come out of sync and needs zero in, zero in, in again, I'm not sure, but it's a good job I checked, otherwise, it's a good job I realised, otherwise that would have been the right balls up. So I just need to work out which lines are in the right place and which ones are off, or how much they're off by before I can press it. So I've remarked them, all, them uh, lines back on and pressed lines and they're 5mm out for some reason. So I'll have to zero, re zero the engraving head back in again. I don't know why it's come out of sync with itself because it shouldn't have done. So I've already pressed a bit earlier, a bit of off cut just to make sure that I could get, that I could press 15mm to 90 degrees and I can do. So, well, it's not quite 90 degrees, it's 60, uh, 86 degrees. So I'm going to use this to, to make sure my angle's right. And I got sent this by a viewer, so thanks to Les for sending me this. It's been really useful. So yeah, they need pressing... Oh, when I drew it, I should have made them more of a round number, but I didn't... I just went off uh, what looked something like rather than off any, off any angles. So that needs pressing at 4.6, and that needs pressing at 85.8. Four. So as long as it's something like, it didn't need to be that precise, we'll get them pressed now. So that's that pressed, <coughs> it measures bang on 800 there, which is what we wanted. It measures, at that end, it just measures slightly less. So we have overpressed it a little bit. So I think I might just press these ones back a little bit because if you put a straight edge through there. And then, can't really show you one hand, but then when you put these bits in, these bits are to go in there, the straight edge, there's like a 5 mil gap, or a bit less than a 5 mil gap, which is not really a problem, but 
Yeah, I think I'll just knock them back a little bit. Right, so I'm happy with that now. I've pressed it back a little bit. You can see now I've got a straight edge across there and it touches near enough on both of them. And then when I measure across the top, I get 801 to there. And then when you measure through there, I've got 803. So near enough, bang on. So that's what I'll do for that bit. So then when you put the square at the side of it, it is nearly, not quite nearly, perfectly square, about a mil. Same with this one. So that's good as that. So I'll bring some box section round now and cut some box section and then we can slide it through. I'll clean all the rusty stuff off that as well first before I start welding the box section in. So I've got all my bits of box section cut. It is new, it's just gone rusty because it's been sat outside for a week or two. So I'll give that a clean up, give everything a clean up, and then we can start tacking bits together.
Right, so that's everything cleaned up. Got all the rust off. So I was hoping I could tack that upright onto this box before I threaded it through, but I don't think I'll be able to because uh, I'll have to thread it in from one end because I can't thread it through and then put it back because the square's too tight to do that. So yeah, I'll start putting this bit together with them uh, extra braces in, tack that together and then we can start putting the top link boxes and braces and that in.
So I've got everything tacked on, apart from that top plate. But I've just realised, well, I'm not happy with the centres from the top link to the bottom link. Uh, it's only 500 mil, so I've got that wrong. So I'll just show you why I've got it wrong and then I'll show you how I'm going to fix it. So I've been basing all my measurements off this. Um, it's a frame off a front press. This is cap two. So I was basing all my measurements off that. Which that measures from the centre of that box to there measures 500 mil. But what I failed to realise is them whole centres are like 120 mil below the centre of that box section. So I've got all my bits of box based off this and then forgot about that. So it might not be an issue as it is, but I'm going to alter it before it is an issue. With it like it is now, you probably wouldn't get your top link short enough for it to be parallel if your top link would be too long and then the whole thing would be facing forward. So the way I'm going to solve that is I'm just going to plasma some plates out like that with the hole higher up, so 100 mil higher. Should be better.
So I've got them tacked on. I think they look all right. They don't look like they're there to fix a balls up with me measuring. So I've just had to cheat a little bit. I had to splay them out a couple of mil just so I could get the top link in because it was a bit tight otherwise. So to make it look a bit smarter, I've got both seams, well, all three seams facing backwards on them boxes. And then the seam on this box is facing forwards, so you can't see that. So when you're looking at it from the front, you just see a nice smooth box without any, without any of the seams showing through. Everything's nice and square, measures how it should do. So a few more tacks to put around it and then I'll start welding it up. So I've got all that welded up now. That's welded up pretty nice. A few bits I need to smooth off around there. 
Um, it was a bit tight getting into the back of there and welding down into there, but I've managed to, to get round it all. So that's all that welded up. What I do need to do is, I just need to tack these onto the front of there because in the back of the block, in the back of that block, it's sort of recessed. You can see there it's recessed. So I need them spaces in. So I'll just tack them on there, I think. No point fully welding them on. So I'll get them a bit smoothed off and then give it a wash off and I can start painting it. So I've just been having a fiddle about with on shape again. So I've just drawn that block on to represent to represent that. And then I've clicked on the side and I found like a simulation. So I've worked out how to use that. And then I've loaded it up with uh, 3,000 pound, which is like twice the weight that that'll take. I think that'll maybe weigh 100 kilos, and then you get 13 or 14, 50, uh, 40 kilo weights on it. If you had 13, 40 kilo weights on, you'd have 520 kilos, which is like 1,100 pounds, and then that block will weigh 100 kilos maybe. So I think it works out at like, um, 1300 pounds so I've loaded this up to 3000 pounds so there's a few yellow bits on it which I'm guessing that is stress but to say it's got twice it's recommended or twice it's weight on it what it will have on it I think that should be alright there's different settings you can alter there's a bit more colour on that one but because I don't really know what I'm looking at So I think for the 620 kilos or the like 1,300 or 1,400 pounds that it's, it's going to be carrying, it should be plenty strong enough. So I've got them just welded on and then I've got my little logo welded on as well, little snowball engineering logo. So I'll get it washed off and then it can be drying overnight and then ready to paint tomorrow. I've been leading chicken up today so I haven't got much done with it. All I've got done is, well, cleaned up with a grinder and then welded, welded them and my logo on. So yeah, hopefully I can get, well I will get it finished this week.
So we'll let them dry off and then we'll get them sprayed tomorrow. I might as well spray the block while I'm on with it. There's some new bolts coming as well, some new inch UNF bolts to bolt that onto there. Right, so that's that all painted now. It's had two coats of red oxide and then two coats of black. So pretty happy with that. Black paint never looks great under these LED lights because it sort of reflects, shows all up all the imp imperfections, but I'm happy with that. There's no runs on it anyway. So now we need to try and get that bolted on to here without damaging the paintwork too much. Got some new bolts to bolt that on. I've also got some new pins as well to go in there. Right, so that's the weight block bolted on, or the weight carrier. You see his clearance down there, so as good as that. Yeah, I think I'm quite pleased with that. There, I've got some new pins as well, some new cap two pins to go in it. There's a new top link pin to go in. So yeah, no, that's that finished. You can, I thought I'd maybe put too much paint, paint over it, but you can see the logo still. What are you two doing? Inspectors are here. Everything all right? Just concerned that my fire extinguisher has not been tested recently. It's all right, don't worry about it. So that's that done. It's been a nice little fabrication project. A uh, nice simple job. I've learned how to use the sheet metal processing on shape. And I've also learned about the simulation. So that's been good. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.